Hi there, Mike Robinson with Blackhawk Paramotor, and here on today's tips and tricks, I'm going to show you how to install the new Ultralight Reserve from Blackhawk on a Kestrel weight shift frame. The first thing you need is to have a pair of clippers, some of the Ultra Mini thin zip ties, and perhaps a couple of the bigger zip ties. Unpack your reserve. This is the new Blackhawk Ultralight Reserve. This thing weighs three pounds with the case. It also has a Velcro on top so you can put a top carrier on it to hold your camera, uh, water, cell phone, etc. That's purchased separately but it is available. This is the bridle. I've used an ultra colorful one here so you can see it. The bridles that we typically sell are gray, white, and a dark gray. Undo the attachment points. The first thing we'll do is attach the reserve itself and then I'll show you how to run the bridle. The first thing you have to do is take off the buckle as Heidi's demonstrating here on the right hand side. It's the part that goes here. The reason the buckle has to come off is we have to get it through the Kestrel weight shift arm. It takes a little bit to get it out. You need to have a pair of clippers or a pair of pliers to finish pulling it out. It only needs to be this side. In other words, the outside of the weight shift arm. Okay, so if you can hold that up. Simply go through, come back around, and go ahead and put this buckle back on. Okay, so pull it tight. Simply connect it. You can finish pulling it tight there. Next, take off the arm rest. Put the back strap around. And adjust it for the proper length. Pull it tight. Now your reserve is installed. Next, take your clippers, cut off the zip ties holding the bridle. The next part's critical. Remember, do not wind this thing through anything such as that because it looks better or it's neater. This needs to be applied on top so that if the reserve is deployed, this pulls free and go straight to the canopy itself, to the reserve canopy. Okay, so that's what I'm going to demonstrate next. Obviously, these straps are the same length, so you can mount it to either side. One strap is going to be short because it's going to go to this carabiner. The other strap will be long. I'll show you how to address that as well. Next thing to do is install it on this carabiner. An option is to have another carabiner another red strap and another carabiner behind this one if you like. For those of you with a high hang point, we have three loops in our harness. Typically the carabiner for your risers for your glider are on the middle loop. You can take a carabiner and put it on the back loop if you like. It will bring you down a little straighter. You won't be pitched back in the event of a carabiner failure, which I've never seen. At least you do have a backup carabiner there. You can deploy your reserve disengage or dismantle your regular glider and hopefully come down to a nice safe soft landing. This I simply make a couple loops and attach via one of the small zip ties. Okay, so the right hand side of the paramotor's bridle has been installed. I went through it with a small zip tie here, a little bit larger one here to hold it to the arm itself. It's totally free. Next I install or reinstall the arm pad. Now we're going to install this bridle on the other side. This is the critical one. This is the one you want to lay on the top, not wind or get entwined with any other part of the harness or the frame itself. 
take a few small zip ties and one larger one. Okay, so I'm going to carefully lay the bridle over the top and come down to this carabiner. We'll install it on this carabiner. And I'm going to judge how much slack I'm going to have. I'm going to have a little bit of slack. I'm going to leave this slack right here. Remember to leave yourself plenty of room for mobility. Same thing here. You know, my arm will not hit this. I can route it to the inside if I like. Little zip tie here just to take up the slack. Remember, installing your own reserve if you're not experienced may not be a great idea. I would recommend that you have an instructor or somebody else who flies with the reserve that you trust. Check over your installation and make sure that it's all good. Okay, so there's my slack. Now I'm just going to take some small zip ties and secure it to the frame. The last thing we want to have happen is the bridle comes loose. These little zip ties will break in the event of a deployment, which is what they're supposed to do. Do check them periodically. Make sure that they're uh, all secured properly, that none of them are broken. add maybe six or seven of these little zip ties and everything will be fine. They will still break off. Make sure you cut the zip ties short so that you don't get cut on them. And this pretty much finishes off the installation of your Blackhawk Ultralight Reserve on a Kestrel weight shift paramotor. If you have the higher hang point or mid hang point black cocks, everything is the same. Just that the J bar is solid, not a weight shift arm. You've just watched the video on how to install the Black Hawk Ultralight Reserve. Since that time, we have added something to the Pro Team harness, and that is this it's a loop in which you can take a stainless steel mallion, such as this one and attach it to there and then take your bridle and attach your bridle to there. That's in lieu of adding an extra carabiner here or utilizing your carabiner that you are already using for your risers. As you can see on this other side we've already installed it and you'll simply route your bridle across the back using the small zip ties that will pull away in the event that you have to deploy your reserve. Don't forget, after you've deployed your reserve, dismantle your regular glider so that it doesn't impede your reserve. I hope you found today's tips and tricks useful. If you have any questions whatsoever, please call us at Blackhawk Paramotor USA at 209-786-7899. Be safe. Make good choices and enjoy everything that this sport has to offer.